waiting for your fancy intro to show up there. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it has been a wild night tonight. I've been yeah. watching the radar and things. I've been very distracted during the show. It's just like a party outside if I you know. like severe weather. And just during the break, we were both sitting here, and then all of a sudden you could hear the rain just start Thunder, coming down. Yeah. So we've heard it all. We've heard thunder in here. We've seen lightning That's on the right. sky cam. And uh, if you're looking out the window, you're going to see it all as well in mid-Michigan tonight. So taking a look at the radar, you can see exactly what's coming in. Not everybody in mid-Michigan is seeing rain right now, but we'll all see rain eventually through the overnight. Now, some thunderstorms outside as well, including Lansing, seeing a thunderstorm right about now. And then one off to the west, uh, just around Charlotte or so, coming in pretty quickly, too. These showers and thunderstorms will be here through the overnight. And our Temperatures remaining very mild as well, and that's giving it, really giving it the fuel that we need to get some of those thunderstorms. This is a result of last night's weather and all the rain that we got last night. Notice that there are several different shades of green, all relating to some kind of flood issue. And the very light greens, those are the flood or flood warnings. So grass shits in the flood warning all the way until Wednesday, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Those of us, the rest of us in mid Michigan, flood advisory. But if we see a lot more rain tonight, and especially in those thunderstorms, you can get a lot of rain at a very uh, small amount of time, we could be uh, potentially pushing those up to flood warnings. So just be advised that if you live near some kind of river, you might be seeing some of the waters increase very rapidly over the next 24 to 48 hours. Local temperatures right now, I want to touch on these, into the 50s off to the north, still holding on to the 60s in the southern half of the mid-Michigan area. A very mild night for us, and those temperatures aren't going to go down very fast. Notice the wind still about 5 to 10 for most of us, up to 17 in Charlotte with that thunderstorm coming in, 10 in Jackson. Expect these to be gusty through the night as those showers do roll in. So rain and thunderstorms tonight, but by the time we get to tomorrow, we're just going to deal with the rain showers. There's not going to be as much warmth to have a thunderstorm for Monday morning, and then those temperatures are going to fall as our cold front comes through. And we're talking cold temperatures. We're going to be about 30 degrees difference tomorrow at this time. Snow showers are in our forecast at this time tomorrow night. So we, let's take a look at the next uh, 48 hours. This low pressure system coming on through, dragging a lot of moisture with it and giving us the opportunity for some rain showers and a lot of rain at that. And taking a look at Monday morning, we still have this front coming on through, which means lots of rain for your drive into work. Most of the day will just contain some very scattered showers, even isolated at times. It won't be raining the entire day. But by the time we get to the evening hours, our temperatures have fallen so fast into about the 30 range. And you notice that light blue band coming through. That was snow. And so we could see some accumulations, mostly on the grassy surfaces. And it doesn't look like anyone's going to get more than an inch, and I would say an inch is very gracious, but by the time we get to Tuesday morning, you could see a little white outside. We'll see sunshine, especially toward the second half of the day, maybe even some lake effect snow showers developing Tuesday if it's cold enough, but we'll be seeing uh, sunshine from there on out. Now, temperatures will be cold once we get to Tuesday, but let's take a look at till then. This is keeping us 8 o'clock in the morning in the 60s still. I think we'll be right in the mid to upper 50s at that time. But nonetheless, falling very quickly. Look at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're in the 40s, upper 40s to the east. Those will be the guys that will hang on to the warmer temperatures the longest. Of course, the northwest getting cold as fast. Now, 20s, by the time that we get to Tuesday, we'll be falling to about the mid-20s and low-20s Tuesday morning and then picking up to just the mid-30s. So a very cold Tuesday for us. You might need to get those winter coats out just one more time. 55 degrees for tonight's low. That's actually our high for tomorrow, too. And say hello to Emily. She's got her winter gear on for tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be cold by the end of the day, and you'll be thankful that you gave it to the kids. Now, seven-day forecast shows that we have a very quiet pattern developing after. Certainly cold, yes, but we'll be staying dry for several days after Monday until about Friday or Saturday. That's when we'll start to see the showers just in time for Easter travels. I'd love to see that bunny hopping so vigorously. Yeah, he's really excited, and Easter looks like a great day. Mid-50s, not we'll, bad. We'll look forward to it. Thanks, Lauren.